Hey guys, this is definitely not the game I remember it being. Ravnica Cluedo Edition is terrible. It actually has physical magic cards in it. Uh, eight ready to play magic boosters. That is, um, you know, it's a very diverse crowd. You got the Asian with the beard. Looks a little bit like a Marvel Asian, right? You got the older Hispanic or Arabian woman. You got the old white man with a beard, Santa Claus. You have a African American who is the temptress, right? And you got a African American wizard, I assume. And then you have a trans, uh, but non-binary uh, individual. So this is the state of Magic the Gathering right now, is that they're being made into Clue games. Um, I don't know what else to say, except uh, it is where, where, where we are in a society, and as well as Magic players. If you don't want to uh, support it, uh, you don't need to buy. Again, you don't need to buy everything. Now, beyond that, let's get into the, the reason you're here. Uh, my feelings about this is the diversity, the multicultural things. Um, yeah, it's going to get more. Like, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Um, we're going to see more and more of the social policies that Wizard of the Coast is pushing. And um, if you don't want to, you know, I've been boycotting Magic cards for over six months now. And it's been great. It's been the best time of my life. You know, I saved a lot of money, had a lot of really good experiences with the girlfriend, was able to travel a lot with the money I saved. Spending um, without collections, at, at one point in time, I was buying forty, fifty thousand dollars collections almost every month for a, a, a year, just about. And I had to distribute her magic. And, you know, honest to God, like it was a hor horrifying experience now that I think about it. And all the money that was uh, set on fire. So if you don't like the direction where the game is heading and it's not for you, right, as Meryl would say, then don't buy it. Uh, I haven't found anything interesting in the last six months that really tempted me to buy. Universe Beyond is just kind of like, um, it's Universe Beyond. I can't really explain it. It's not creative to me. It's a way to make very expensive cards with very little work, in my personal opinion, from the IP. You know, I'm, I'm an IP attorney, so I see people try to copy things and, and paste them all the time. And it drives me nuts that they think it's a new invention, when in fact it's just a copy and paste of two different IPs and you put them together, right? That's how I feel about Wizards of the Coast. No one has a creative idea. No one even knows what the hell they're doing most of the time there. So if you want to boycott, boycott. Um, I am, you know, it's, it's great. The uh, there's space on the bus, the boycott bus for you guys, <laughs> guys.